anybody else's spider sense tingling? Hey everyone, this is Aaron with Geeks of the Web here. I'm here at Celebrity Fan Fest with John Guerrero. Is that right? John Guerrero. Guerrero. Thank enough, you. Guys, nice meeting you again, definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. So he's Likewise. here and Wolfsbane. You know, that's his comic. It's you know South Texas here. So tell me a little about it. Like, how, first of all, how'd you come up with the idea? Oh God, uh, I actually put the suit together and we were doing Renaissance Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, from Renaissance, just to make a, a shorter story. My son, once we got the suit together, we're pretty close to where uh, I'm at right now. He kind of pushed me and said, Dad, why don't you go to a Comic-Con? And I was like, honest to God, I didn't know what a Comic-Con was. <laughs> and uh, he was like, and I was like, what is it? He goes, it's like a Renaissance Festival, but inside. And it's about superheroes and anime and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you know, I don't have a, a superhero suit. He goes, no, no, no. Go take you. I was like, oh, no, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> No, no one knows who that is. And uh, eventually he bought me the tickets. I went. Uh, the second time I went to, I think with the uh, one in Victoria, Texas, uh, was my second one. And that was my encounter that changed everything with Vern Troyer. Mini me. Nice. And uh, his, him and his agent saw me coming around the corner. I was in full suit. And uh, they called me to their table. Had me there for like probably 15, 20 minutes just talking about the character. First thing out of Ver Verge Valve is like, that's the most kick-ass suit I've ever seen. <laughs> and uh, and after that, it was just talking about the character, talking about the storyline. And when we're finishing up, he told me this. He said, if I was you, I would take this to the next level because it's one of the most kick-ass things I've ever seen. Nice. And it kind of just rung in my ear. And I looked over at my wife as we were walking out. I was like, I'm going to write a comic book. And uh, she was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm going to write a comic book. Uh, probably a week or two later, I, it took me around uh, probably around 45 minutes to write part one. Sat there on sofa, spit it out, uh, found uh, the art team, and uh, next thing you know, rolling out part one. Uh, Peter Sullivan with Arrow Entertainment out of, out of Hollywood contacted me because of an article that the Caller Times did on me. Wow. And uh, they wanted to buy it from the Sci-Fi Channel. But I, w I didn't know what to say. I said, give me time to think about it. But by that time, the buyer that they had had decided not to make anything new for Sci-Fi, which was great. Yeah. Because I would have sold out real cheap and then uh, it would have, have been done with. Yeah. And uh, so, no, uh, we're still in touch, and, you know, uh, and uh, but after that we rolled out part two of the comic book, like I said, rolled out a coloring book, and then filming came along. Right. I knew nothing of filming, and I'm just now learning, but uh, we had a uh, and I found out I was filming. He's a, uh, you know, out in Scarface, American Me, and all these amazing movies back in the 80s. Yeah. And uh, Miami Vice, and uh, when he heard I was doing it, he flew in on his own accord just to be in the movie after I wrote him in. Oh, wow. He asked me, do you have a part for me? He said, I do, but I got to script you in because I actually didn't have this part for this movie. And uh, I did. He loved it. He flew in in September. We shot it. So it's just been one thing after the other. I told myself I would take a break from filming part one. And uh, the doors opened up immediately for me to start part two. And here we are. First little trailer that we did, uh, that we put out wins a uh, best trailer in Calcutta, India. And uh, so that really just fired everybody up. So now yeah. we're just a, uh, got an amazing team of Izzy Salinas, Michael Castro on the production team and uh, along with a great casting crew. And everything is just coming together fast. It's coming out amazing. Their editing of the scenes is is I, I'm left speechless because I couldn't do that when I made part one because I, I was like, yeah, where were you guys when I did part one? And uh, yeah, I said, because uh, now it's going to look like kindergarten work compared to almost <laughs> dark near Hollywood level. Oh and uh, so it's just the difference is night and day. That's amazing. And, uh, but uh, I'm grateful for the work I got to put into part one. You know, my first film, I didn't do a short. I went straight into full feature. And I think that was amazing that we cut out an, an hour and 40 minute movie yeah. on my first film. And uh, and uh, part two is also a full feature film. I said, uh, my scripts are for full feature. I, I, can't, I can't stop at it short. Yeah. And, uh, and everybody asked me, so does this cover 
uh, how many books? I said, like, I only got two books. I said, like, I need to catch up with my books to the movie. Yeah. I said, it does. So it's a, it's been a really cool experience. And I'm, and I'm hoping that with the amazing fans that we have, not only here in South Texas, but around the country, around the world, I got fans in, in Germany. And, uh, yeah, so I have a wonderful lady friend out there that follows me on Facebook who has uh, my friend Doodle. A South Park drawing of Will Spain killing Satan with all the South Park characters. Oh my God! Well, we posted. He did it on a, on a little doodle, on a little sticky sticky yeah. note. And I posted on Facebook. She went and got it and had it tattooed on her wow. arm, and it says uh, uh, "South Texas superhero Will Spain." And I was, uh, we were blown away. And she's representing wow. Germany. And uh, so we have we have another wonderful friend that follows us, and uh, she's ordered the books and uh, and movie in Australia, and uh, so uh, it's really great. So we just it's uh, we're getting seen everywhere. Winning in Calcutta was amazing. Yeah, and uh, we're just uh, hoping and praying that it'll continue to grow, continue to get to people, and uh, that we'll be uh, be able to keep continue to entertain people, bring this story yeah. to people, and uh, and hopefully gain a lot a lot more fans and friends along the way. That would be amazing. Yes. And I know y'all can see, you know, Wolf Stan right behind us here. So, what does he do? What's the character like? Obviously, he doesn't look like a Superman in a he, friendly neighborhood kind of guy. Either. No, he is a. I, I explained it to this because it's got some uh, uh, biblical tie ins and it's got some uh, some spiritual sides to it. He's a, He was created to be the god of purgatory. South okay. Texas man out hog hunting one night when he has an, a UFO encounter. The aliens, which he refers to as the Trinity, change him from his very DNA and create him to be this god to hunt down demons that are in human form in, in Texas. Texas has seceded from the Union, becoming their own country, and uh, these these uh, demons are loose here in in high positions of, of uh, government, big pharma, and uh, all these political power, and uh, they they set him free here to hunt and to destroy oh, wow. these demons to bring unity again amongst the people wow, and, uh, okay. in the world. So uh, it's uh, kind of like the like uh, the good versus bad, but he looks like the bad. And there's, yeah. a, there's a scripture in the Bible that says uh, that the uh, wolf dress, dresses in sheep's clothing. Yes. Well, he's reversed. <laughs> he's reversed. He's the he's the he's the good he's the he's the good guy. Yeah. But who looks when you see him? He looks like he's one of the, he's one, he's exactly. A, yeah. He, he, he looks like a villain. And uh, and, uh, and and so we just kind of change it up, bring that in there, and er apparently everybody's been loving it. First Texas-based Latino anti-hero. Yeah. And uh, the God of Purgatory, Wolf Spain. And uh, you know, and still we have a lot of people because they say the name, you know. You know, we got uh, you got Marvel with Wolfsbane, yeah. and I'll say, well, Wolfsbane is a plant. Yeah. And if you uh, notice, there was a, a lot of vampires and werewolves movie use the name, exactly. so a lot of people are like, oh, yeah. like you can't copyright yeah. the name because it's, it's it's actually the name of the plant. The characters are are yes. uh, a trademark, copyrighted, and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't know it's the name of a plant. <laughs> and that plant actually, when I, we started looking into it, was uh, used in Renaissance times. Really? And that's where my character started was for Renaissance festival. Yeah. Right? And uh, but it was used as a poison to kill off the wolves. The villages would mix okay. it with food, leave it on the city limits or the, the outside of the, the, of the villages yeah. for the wolves to eat to kill off the wolves from coming into the villages, harming the people and stuff like that. That's interesting. And, I didn't know uh, that. Yeah. Interesting. That's why it's wolves bane to kill the wolf. Yeah. And so when uh, through using a werewolf story, I was like, well, it kind of don't make sense because you know you're trying to kill the wolf, not be, help you become the wolf. Yeah. There's a lot of stories where you drink the wolf's bane and you turn into a werewolf and stuff like that. But I just kind of turned it for it stands for the name. I'm out to kill the, the dark wolves of this yeah. world. And uh, so uh, it's stuck. We're taking it, and it actually it's landed us in places like this. Where you know, big shout out to Evo Entertainment for having us here. You know, be a, a guest here in Artist Alley, and, and such an amazing event that's headlining Jason Momoa and everybody else, and uh, all the all the Marvel the Marvel team that's here. So we're just we get blown away when opportunities like this come along. You guys come along, yeah. and uh, decide y'all want to do an interview. It's just man, it just you know the feeling's amazing. <laughs> I feeling's amazing. Because I mean, like you said, a, a Latino South Texas hero. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't have anyone really in any major comics I can think of off the top of my head. That's Miles Morales is half, I think. That's the closest we can get. But, guys, you've been gears. Random question. Who's your favorite superhero? Oh, my go, God. I really, I, I, when I was growing up, 
Uh, it's going to be really a tie between Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk. Right, right there, Spider-Man. <laughs> and uh, but then is uh, when I got when they let loose Star Wars. Yes. And Darth Vader came in. Yeah. Oh my! I mean, I love Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. I mean, I thought Luke was like man, and I still do. Yeah. Mark Hamill's, you know, uh, I yeah. would totally fangirl over <laughs> over Mark Hamill. I saw him in person because I would freak out. But Darth Vader had a huge influence on my life. I loved it. I especially loved it in the storyline at the end. He takes off the mask. There was good in him, even though he was this character of, uh, that represented the you know the dark side. Yeah. And uh, so. Uh, he, uh, Darth Vader's up there with Spider Man and uh, with Hulk, and uh, but uh, if anybody asks me out of those three, <laughs> I would definitely have to go to Vader, and uh, because okay. uh, Darth Vader was just uh, just that Ooh, influence on me when yeah. he came out, and uh, so other than that, you know, then of course, uh, Spawn came along, and I just uh, thought that was amazing when uh, Tom McFarland right there, yeah, and then uh, favorite now, as I as I as, uh, as I'm here in this day. Be, be a force Deadpool. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm totally a Deadpool. I, I would, uh, that's just, I love what they did. I love the writing that goes into it. And I love, of course, you know, the, the CGI and everything that Hollywood can use to yeah. make Deadpool who he is today. Oh and, my gosh, uh, yes. It's just great. We're, we're praying that one that soon we'll be at that level. Yeah. And uh, so, and once we do, you know, that's just going to be another character we can introduce to the world on the world stage. Yeah. For everybody to enjoy and bring a uh, bring Latinos, you know, just give them that extra step up there, you know, to yeah. say, hey, look, we we're here. Exactly. And, and, I, and I think I think there's so much talent amongst the Latino community. Yeah. That, we, that there's a lot of people out there that should be at that level. Yeah. Definitely. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully this kind of puts everybody on the map. You know, I'm just saying, I'm right here. I'm you're not doing in, anything. Man, you're in, you're in, my brother. I already told you, man. I already told you. But I do want to thank you for your time, man. Oh, I really definitely. appreciate this. Thank you so oh, much. Thank y'all so and much. Thank you, Celebrity Fest Fest, for letting us come out here. And we hope everyone enjoyed the con. Definitely. Shout out to everybody here in South Texas, around the world. God bless you. Peace.